How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Jacked Up Fishing. Well, if you've ever been anchored offshore in some structure or around a jetty, anywhere that your anchor could get snagged up, and it, sometimes it does, you're going to want to watch this episode. I'm going to show you how to make a quick release that you can pretty much get your anchor back all the time. So stay tuned. Here we go. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go ahead and set this anchor up. I wanna give a shout out to Spartan76. He asked me about uh, rigging up my anchor and if how close I was to the jetty the other day. Well, it just so happens I did lose my anchor. I didn't have it rigged up like I'm gonna show you now, but I'm gonna rig it up this way. Most offshore boats that I have rigged up are rigged up this way. Inshore boats, unless you're around jetties or something like that, you don't need to. Um, Pretty much all you're gonna need, this is my inshore setup. This is a 13 pound anchor. I just bought it at one of the local supply shops. I got about three foot of chain, galvanized chain, two shackles, and the shackles are gonna be to connect to certain parts. And I also got a hundred foot of three eighths rope with the, you know, with the already got the thimble in it. So the main thing is to have all this. This is for an inshore setup, it's not for an offshore setup. Offshore, you got scope, you got a bunch of stuff to deal with. Not with this. This is for inshore up to, you know, 60, 70 feet tops. I would mainly suggest around 50 foot. But um, if you're around structure, this is what this setup is for. So most of the time when you rig up an anchor, you're going to rig up your chain to your shackle. Like this. It's going to go straight to here, right to the end of your anchor. That's how most people rig up your anchor. That way you're... Make sure you get a good solid anchor, just like this one. See that's a solid shank anchor. These other anchors you buy these days, like this, hollow shank, they don't, they don't catch nothing. There's nothing they catch. It's hard to get, you can get set up with a lot of chain. These anchors right here are the ones you want. You want a good quality anchor Something that'll give a good bite. It's got a lot of weight in that center section there. So most anchors are rigged up just like this with a shackle on the back, you know, chain coming off it to the rope. The only problem is while it does hang good, it hangs too good in rocks and stuff like that. And it's hard to get them out. They snag up into the rocks, done deal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a, a shackle up here and then I'll show you what I'm going to do now. The first thing we got to do is drill a hole right here. So let me go ahead and get on that. Okay. I got my hole drilled now. I got it just big enough to where the pin of the shackle goes right to it. Um, it's got a little bit of play. So what I'm going to do is take the end of this chain, put it through the shackle, just like this. And then I'm going to put the shackle on top of the anchor here. We're going to screw it all together. Simple adjustable wrench will do it. You screw it all together, get it nice and tight. And what you're going to do is you're going to have to where it lays just like this, right along the shank of the anchor. Let me tighten this up. Get it nice and tight here. And you really want to tighten this up. You can also put the, the safety wire on here so it doesn't come out. I'm just putting that screwdriver in there to keep it straight while I put some real pressure to it. 
All right. So now that's set up. I got the shackle there. All you're gonna do is run it down the, the um, shank of the anchor. And this is where these come in. These are just tire wire ties or tie wraps. We do this offshore. We'll put it through. And we'll put up to two on there. Sometimes three, depending on the size of your boat. But two should be just fine to hang your anchor. It will not pull unless you pull it off. This is what we do right here. I always keep a couple tie wraps in the boat. So if you're fishing around culvert pipes, anything like that, this is what's going to happen. You're going to hook the culvert pipe, and then when you pull on it, say you say, oh, it's snagged, you pull on it, it'll pop these and lift it from the front. So just to give you an example. So when you pull on this anchor from underneath the water, it's going to pop these tie wraps and then pull it straight up just like this. It's called a quick release anchor. 90% of the time you'll get your anchor back this way. There will be a few times where the anchor is wedged in between some culverts or something like that, but uh, and it will not come out. But this will get it out most of the time. If you have it rigged the other way, straight off the back of the shank, you will never get it back, ever. That thing is gone, and all the divers are gonna go get yours. Another thing is, don't get the Harbor Freight tire wraps or wire ties. Get a good quality one that makes a difference. You get crummy tie wraps or wire ties, it will not work the same. So now I got the whole anchor rigged up. Now I'm going to take the end of my existing chain. We're going to put it together now with the shackle. Oh, there we go. Bad boy was tight. We're going to put it together just like you normally would. Then you're going to tighten it up. The main thing is to get this really tight so it doesn't come apart. Like I said, you can always use the safety wire. I don't use the safety wire because sometimes it gets a little sharp when people are pulling it in. They'll cut their hands on it, so I tend not to use it. I make sure that it's tight. Sometimes I'll put some Loctite on there or something like that. But there you go. This is your normal anchor with a quick release. It pulls it up straight. All right. So that's pretty much it. I got your anchor all set up here. Quick release. It's got a shackle up front, three feet of chain. That way you can go down the shank and tie wrap it to the existing hole where you were supposed to connect it. It's called a quick release. It breaks loose here, pulls from the front. That way it can always come out. Down all the way to the shackle down here to your normal rope, 100 foot anchor rope. And that's it. Pretty simple. I should have had one rigged up. I actually didn't have one rigged up. It's funny because I want to thank Spartan 76 one last time for reminding me I should have had one rigged up because I lost it the next week. <laughs> Also, I got some new stuff for y'all. I got an 18 foot John boat. This is the metal. We're putting a floor in it right now, which I'm going to have coming up episode. This is going to be the new project on Tighten Up Tuesday. It's going to be our new gigging machine, flounder gigging machine. So tune in. It's going to be a cool John boat build. I hope everybody uh, enjoyed watching this and learned something about anchors. We use this a lot over here on the East Coast, Ponce Inlet area. This is how we get our anchors out. Tons of anchors down there, tons of anchors. All the divers tell us about it. This will eliminate you having to lose your anchor. So if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell down below for notifications. Let you know when I put a video out. I got some good videos coming up. I'm thinking I'm scheduled out for two, three weeks. This Thursday, I have a catch, clean, and cook with a low carb sheep head dish. I also have Saturday coming out with a good fishing video. All right, well, that's all I got for you this time. Jacked up. Out.